One of television's hottest talk shows has a series with a haunting title that has nothing to do with Halloween. Joining me now are two of the hosts of The Doctors, Dr. Travis Stork and our new doctor, Dr. Nita Landry, to talk about their continuing series, The Hi. United States of Addiction. Thank you for being here. Oh, thank you for having us. Yeah, thanks so much. So The United States of Addiction is an hour-long special episode that investigates the deadly counterfeit pain pill epidemic in America. At what point did you both know that this was a heavy enough topic and a big enough topic to take up an hour long episode? Well, it's such a big topic. It's not just an hour long episode. We're going to be profound this throughout the season because you just cannot ignore the statistics anymore. You can't ignore the stories. You're talking about 65,000 people dying last year from opiate overdose. 65,000 more people than died in the entire Vietnam War. You're looking at 80% of the world's opiates are used in this country, yet we're 5% of the world's population. And what's crazy, and a lot of people don't realize this, middle-aged women are at the greatest risk of becoming addicted to opiates. So people think that, hey, this is just confined to some other area. But I mean, we're talking about, across every socioeconomic line, soccer moms who are maybe going in for surgery may end up coming out addicted to opiates. And now we know the street drugs out there that, that, that Dr. Nita so well profiled are being laced with this super powerful black market fentanyl that's 100 times more powerful than heroin. It's a scary thing. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Dr. Nita, what did you learn that shocked you the most while you were doing this investigation? You're an OBGYN. Um, this is a huge problem with women. Women often talk to their OBGYNs almost as counselors as well while they're at the doctor's office. Yes, absolutely. And so you bring up a good point. And, you know, it is a big, it does have a profound impact in my profession, because like Travis said, when women are going to the doctor and they're becoming hooked on these opioids, they're becoming addicted, and then they get pregnant. And then there's the issue of what do you do during the pregnancy? And what's going to happen with the baby as far as withdrawal symptoms if the mom continues to take the medication while pregnant? But specifically, um, you know, I went to Dayton, Ohio, just to see what was going on. We really wanted boots on the ground. We wanted a first hand account of how profound this whole opioid crisis is in that particular area. And, you know, we got to actually walk down the street, knock on doors and talk to people. And what we found is, you know, these people, they, they have resources, but honestly, they need more because in some instances, people want help but the help is not there because the resources aren't there. So we're moving in the right direction because they do have good reco recovery efforts. However, there is still work that needs to be done there. Dr. Nita, Dr. Travis, thank you both. The Doctors airs weekdays at 10 a.m. on our sister station, KSMO. Christine.